The original chill mill, control the cool, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and white savers everywhere. It's MarvinGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, do you like mentholated shaving soap? Do you like having that menthol in your shaving soap for your morning shave? I know I sure do. Problem could be, though, that sometimes there's not enough menthol there or maybe too much. What if you could control the amount of menthol in your shaving soap? That would be great, wouldn't it? Well, that's where this product comes in. This is absolutely fantastic. This is the original Chill Mill from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, phoenixshaving.com. This is menthol crystals, all natural menthol crystals in a grinder that you can then grind right into your shaving soap, mix it up in your lather, and boom, you've got menthol in your shaving soap. And you can control how much you want in there. You want a little bit of cool, you want a lot of face freezing. Entirely up to you, you can control it. Now, it's a 1.6 ounce uh, bottle. It comes with a cap right here. It's a glass bottle and an acrylic grinding head. Uh, you want to save this because they do make refills for that. All you have to do is unscrew this, put in some refills, and you're good to go again. It also has a dial here, right here, where you can control how fine or coarse of a grind you want into your shaving soap. Now, I've got something right here I'm going to show you. Uh, actually the the amount of grind you can get here how fine how coarse it is okay so i'm just going to take this now that's turned all the way to the left and all you have to do is a little bit of remnant in there let me get that out of the way okay turn this upside down like this and then grind a little bit and you can see it's rather fine now when i turn this all the way to the right now i'll get a more coarse grind this is coarse and this is fine, as you can see right there. And then, of course, you could put it in the middle there, and then somewhere in the middle, you can kind of split the difference and have something in the middle there. So you can control uh, how much menthol you want in your shaving soap, and you can also can control um, how fine or how coarse that menthol crystal is as you mix it up. This thing is absolutely great. I've had several shaves with it, and I absolutely love it. Now, with this, you could... Uh, you can have uh, menthol in your top box shaving soap. You can have menthol in, well, here I've got um, yeah, orange sunrise right here. You can have a mentholated orange sunrise shave soap. You could have menthol in green cella. You could have menthol in uh, your Edwin Jagger traditional shaving, shaving soap. Uh, this is their aloe vera formula. That is absolutely brilliant, and you can control how much menthol. A little bit of cool or face freezing. Absolutely great, and we're gonna shave with it today. And what we're gonna use, well, <laughs> once again, we're gonna use Future Fiction. I love this shaving soap, and I've ordered uh, another scent, and it's on the way. Uh, I'll let you know what it is when I get it, but boy, oh boy, this has been a beautiful scent, and I love the Formula CK6, and I've ordered my, my new puck in CK6 also, Formula CK6. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic shaving soap. So we're gonna be using that. Uh, for my razor, I'm gonna be using, because this artwork, because this artwork is so retro, I take, take that artwork out, I love this artwork. Isn't that great? It's like a Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon kind of thing. Absolutely love it. But because we're using it and it looks kind of retro, I'm gonna be using my Gillette Fat Boy uh, my vintage Gillette Fat Boy adjustable razor. Yeah, like this a lot. We're going to be using an, uh, an Astra razor blade with that. I'm going to finish it off with a, a Shash Allen block. And of course, Future Fiction aftershave and cologne right here. Boy, isn't that great? Again, check out that art. Check out that art. Absolutely love it. And the glass bottle is very, very classy too. Really nice. Like it a lot. And then, uh, just for upstairs, Every Man Jack. This is uh, fragrance-free, so it won't clash with it. I do have the Star Jelly, the Future Fiction Star Jelly, on the way. That's an aftershave balm kind of a concoction. So I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully I'll be using that in future videos as well. Uh, my brush. My brush is going to be... Well, you know what? They say it's downright Oz, right? That's what... Uh, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements product page said, they said it was downright Oz. This one right here, this is the Peregrino 
uh, shaving brush, and it is downright Oz. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. This is Kansas. I said Oz. It's Oz. Yeah, there it is, Oz. Huh? Isn't that great? Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful, beautiful brush. And uh, that's what we're going to be using here. So, um, let me kind of clear the deck. Oh, before I do that, I want to share with you uh, a little information from their product page regarding the uh, menthol crystals for the chill mill. This is about their refill, but it also describes the, uh, the menthol crystals that are in here. Um, these carefully crafted crystals are a 100% natural product that originate from Comint, mentha arvensis, essential oil extraction. Menthol is a solid constituent of oil of mint to which the characteristic odor is due, and it goes in through some other information there. It's a natural product. Uh, it's great. It gives you some really, really great, uh, a great sensation during your shave. The post-shave feel, depending on how much you put in, absolutely awesome. I use it for a head shave the other day. Wow, that was great. So we're going to use it, and uh, let me clear the deck here a little bit. Let me put some... Uh, Water in the sink. Let me put some hot water on my soap, uh, my soap puck. Kind of get everything going. I've already had a hot shower, so I'm just going to leave this sit for the equivalent of um, um, a hot shower, and uh, we'll be ready to go with the shave. So hang in there with me. Okay, that's been about the equivalent of a good hot shower. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this uh, water that's on top of this soap puck here and just dump it into the the sink there. You can see my brush in there. I'm going to get this uh, this board. I'm just going to set it down like this and I'm going to set this right there so you can see what I'm doing. Now, the way you use the chill mill is uh, you wet the puck a little bit, then you grind some crystals on top, you wait 15 seconds, and then you go ahead and uh, start making a lather. And we're going to be doing a face lather, so I'm going to load the brush with the menthol crystals in the shave, in the shave soap and then uh, do a face lather. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. So here's my uh, chill mill. I have it set halfway for me. I found that cranking it all the way up was a little too much. Now you want to use this just a little bit at a time when you first start out to really kind of gauge how much, uh, I guess, how much you can tolerate right away. So I like to just tune this halfway and maybe do two cranks, one and a half, two cranks, something like that. So I'm just going to go one, two, and that's it. That's all I need right there. So I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to let that go for 15 seconds. And there's 15 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to wet the face, and we're going to start to shave. All right. Very, very nice. I can already sense the menthol. Uh, kind of emanating in the room here. Really, really very, very nice. And that's been 15 seconds. So I'm going to get my brush here. I'm going to give it a slight ring. And I'm going to go ahead and load this up. So you want to leave just a little bit of water in there so that the menthol crystals will, I guess, for lack of a better word, you know, melt a little bit. But uh, I can already feel it just kind of in the air here. I'm going to get just a little bit of water there on the brush because this stuff loves water. Okay, here we go. That's a good brush load right there. Real quick. This stuff just explodes in lather. It just takes right off. And it doesn't take a lot to load a brush. And I got about a day and a half worth of beard growth here. And that's very nice. And just enough menthol for me, really. And I'm going to add just a little bit of water here. I'm going to dip the tips in because I need a little more water here. Just a little more. I love this shaving soap. Absolutely love it. And look how much lather I already have. I mean, that's a nice protective coating of lather. Wow. Again, I, want to, I just want to add a little more water. This shaving soap likes water, obviously. But that's okay. You add a little more water, you get a lot more lather. Look at that. And I can feel the menthol kicking in. That's wonderful. And for me, 
not too much. Now when I do a head shave, I go to the, uh, the coarse side and I give it a good two and a half cranks because I really like that feel on my head, that nice menthol cool feel on my head. But when I really feel it is that last splash of cold water right at the end of the shave. Boy, does that feel good. That feels great. Well, okay, well here's my um, vintage Gillette Fat Boy. I've already loaded the Astra blade in there, if you can see that. Uh, see that in the lighting there, Astra. And I have it at five. I'm gonna give it that final quarter turn to lock everything in place so you can see it's at five, right there. Okay, so we're gonna heat this razor up and we're gonna do this shave and boy, that menthol. And just talking to you here, I can feel the cool. It's really nice. It's fantastic. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's nice. And five is a good, is a really good setting for me. Not too aggressive, not too mild, just right. Right there in the middle. And this Formula CK6 really gives me a lot of nice protection. Terrific, that's absolutely terrific. All right. There's enough slickness there. A little bit of the remnant lather allows me to go over those areas. Uh, not really supposed to when you do the wet shave, but sometimes if you have a really, really good slick soap like this, a lot of glide, there's a lot of slickness there that allows you to do that. Don't like to do, I don't like to do it too much, but with this Formula CK6, I can, I can get away with it, which is really nice. Okay, first pass done, let's rinse. Lot of menthol there too. Very nice. Very nice. That rinse, I can feel the menthol in that rinse. That's terrific. And yes, I washed my hands <laughs> before starting to shave, before I came back to make sure that my hands were washed and you know I had a hot shower and all that. So yeah, we're all set. But look at that, look how much, I mean, I love this shaving soap. I'm really looking forward to the next scent that's coming. Oh man, that's just, that's just great. That's absolutely wonderful. All right, let's loosen the doors here a little bit. All right, and let's turn this down to four right there. Four, can you see that? Okay, then we're gonna close the doors, give it that quarter turn to lock everything in place. All right, so we're gonna go east to west across the grain, level four. Nice mild shave. I think, because I haven't used this razor in a while, I think with the formula CK6, probably could have cranked it up a notch, you know, maybe to level six. Next time around, we'll say. Forgot to mention, because I've been so excited about the shave and 
using the chill bolt. The first pass was nice. First pass was really, really nice. I think I'm only going to need two passes here. We'll see after the second pass. I mean, sometimes I get so excited about using a new product. Yeah, that's terrific. You know, I'm just seeing how much residual slickness there is, and there's quite a bit. It's fantastic. This razor is just gliding. Wow. That's nice. That's really, really nice. Very nice. And, I, and again, the menthol is still there, which is really, really nice. Okay, second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, I'm good for the office right now. You know what? Let's do a third pass. I'm going to do a light third pass, about level two, I think. That's all I'm going to do. I mean, for all practical purposes, this shave is done, but you know what? That menthol feels so great. Look how much here. You know, I'll just... I'll show you after the shave how much we have left in the brush. All right, here, let's uh, open it up. I've got the doors open there. You want to take the tension off of, if you're using a Gillette, a vintage Gillette adjustable razor, you want to just take the tension off those doors uh, before you adjust it, just so you know. Okay, that's three, that's down to level two, right there. Can you see that? Okay, and then we're gonna just get that quarter turn to lock everything in place. Very nice, light, leisurely pass. The menthol is still there and it's just enough for me. Now maybe you want to, uh, you know, crank it all the way to the right and get that, get that uh, nice coarse grind there. So it gives a little more with from two or three turns, whatever you want to. Uh, me, I'm right there in the middle, about one and a half, two turns, and that's just that's perfect for me. And I can still feel this. The menthol is carried out through the entire shave. Absolutely fantastic. Very, very nice light pass. Very nice. <laughs> Going the other way, there's a lot of slickness there. Oh, yeah. Wonderful glide. Third pass done. Let's rinse. Nice. I'm going to drain the sink. We're going to do my two final rinses here. Before I do that, check this out. Look, look how much I've got there. <laughs> is that fantastic? I mean, this is such a nice, thick, rich lather you get from this shaving soap. And it's just, it's immediate. It's fantastic. All right, we're going to do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my uh, warm water rinse. I have a towel here off to the side here to kind of, uh, you know, dry my hands and catch some residual splash, that sort of thing. Okay, so here's my warm water rinse. Okay. 
I'm turning it to the cold side. That's good and cold. Now this is my favorite part of a shave with, uh, with menthol. This is cold water rinse. It just gives this great cooling, chilling feel from the residual menthol that's still on my face. It's a fantastic feeling. Okay, cold water rinse. Oh yeah! Wow! <laughs> wow! That is great! Wow! Woo! That's fantastic! Wow, I've never had that with any other shave soap, menthol shave soap, like that. That's a great sensation. Wow! <laughs> that was great. Oh. Oh, man. Boy. What a great shave. And oh, what a nice close shave. Oh, that's it. Look at that. And, and you know, I just. It looks great. Oh, <laughs> looks great. Feels great. Man, that was, a, that was exhilarating. That'll wake you up in the morning. Wow, that's great. My uh, Shash Allen block, I'm gonna run it under some cold water here. And then we'll uh, see what kind of feedback we get. Smooth as ice. No stinging, no zinging. It was just a beautiful, beautiful shave. A lot of slickness, a lot of glide, but more importantly, a lot of protection. I, I get a lot of protection from this shaving soap. It's absolutely wonderful. So I'm just going to dry that off, and then uh, I'm going to uh, set it, set it right there. <laughs> you can see it down here. You can see it up here. I'm going to set that there and. Uh, let that dry out for tomorrow morning shave. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the brush. We're just gonna set it to uh, warm water here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this brush out. Now, again, all I'm doing is just gently pulling the soap out of the, the knot, out of the brush here. Just gently massaging it out. And I'm running the brush over my hand here to kind of help that process along. And then as soon as I see, when I give it a nice gentle squeeze like this, as soon as I see that water start to run clear, and I'm, again, I'm using warm water here, just lukewarm water, as soon as I start to see that run clear, then I know I'm good. Okay, then all I do is I'd like to run them across the hand here, get rid of that excess that might be in the hairs there, excess water, and then give it some vigorous shakes like this. Just throw off that excess water. Like that. And there you go, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's fantastic. All right, love this brush, it's fantastic. All right, um, let's go ahead and uh, use the Future Fiction Aftershave Cologne. This is great stuff. This really lasts longer than your average aftershave. And it's not overwhelming. It's not uh, you know overbearing or anything like that. It's really a nice scent and uh, it stays with you. And I think it's just a terrific, it's a terrific scent. It really is. You have to try it. It's uh, it's fresh with a little bit of zing. That's the greatest description. I believe that's what their product page says. But really, it's a terrific description of it. Okay, so here we go. Like that. Oh boy, is that nice. Very nice. All right, a little Everyman Jack for upstairs because 
well, you know, doing a full head shave. And uh, about that much there. Just to put some moisture up there. Because you know what? It's May. It's the beginning of May. We had snow this morning. I drove through snow flurries. <laughs> and you know, that's not unusual. That's Northeast Ohio. So when you get a turn of the weather like that, it's always a good thing to start your day off with a great shave. That was a great shave. That was fantastic. That really was. And that cold water rinse right at the end. Wow, did that wake me up. Fantastic. I, uh, I love this product. <laughs> this is great. And as I say, uh, glass bottle, uh, acrylic grinder on top. Uh, hang on to it because uh, you can refill it. All you got to do is just unscrew it like this, see? And then, you know, buy some refills, put it back in there, and you're good to go again. Ah, uh, chill mill. The original chill mill from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, phoenixshaving.com. Absolutely fantastic product. Now you can put menthol in any of your shaving soaps. It's just a terrific idea. It's a terrific product. It's a great natural product, and you can control the amount of coolness that you want. A little bit of cool, or, you know, face freezing. Uh, really terrific. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic trip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out phoenixshaving.com or phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com. They'll both take you to the same place. A great online store with great shaving gear and great products. Formula CK6, fantastic. Chill Mill, wonderful. It really will change your shave in the morning for the better. It really is, it really is great. It will wake up your shave. Um, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ray where you'll find all the products I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.